Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. My wife Ethel, she has to wax them down twice a week. Walls, ceiling, everything. Well, that's more than I needed to know. This week we're looking at occult thriller Race with the Devil. Now what the hell is that? Which starts as a mobile version of The Price is Right. Color television. Four burner stove. Microwave oven. Couple of bucks for the kids. And then turns into a satanic version of Duel. You'd have to be crazy to try a stunt like that. Happy couples, Roger and Kelly and Frank and Alice, are on holiday. And here's the best damn vacation we may ever have in our lives. All right. Hey. Well, that ought to jinx it. What the hell are they doing? Things get weird when they witness a ritual sacrifice. No joke, no bullshit. Murder! And the local police are no help whatsoever. We get there and these kids kill five cats. I mean, skinned them. <laughs> I guess you had to be there. Damnest thing you ever saw. The couple spend the rest of the film on the run from the vengeance of the Satanists, who seem to be everywhere, even perving on them in the pool. But they're not going to let it ruin their holiday. Now we're going skiing! Until... Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. It's the same people. Well, obviously. You'd have to be pretty unlucky to run into two groups of Satanists on the same holiday. Oh, I see. It's not a terrible setup, but the film is Shit. maddeningly inconsistent. Quack, quack. Particularly in the escalation of threat. So we go from snakes on an RV. <laughs> pretty high level of threat to. Can you hear me? You must have a bad connection, sir. I'll report your phone as being out of order. Well, now it just seems like the Satanists aren't trying. What the hell are they doing? That's another thing. For a film called Race with the Devil, the occult content is surprisingly low. Well, I sure give it a try. If you forget about the sacrifice, then there's nothing to distinguish this film from Deliverance or Straw Dogs or any of those films where a bunch of locals gang up on the city folk. They deserve it. They do cast a spell at one point. Any evil you cause will be returned to you ninefold. But nothing comes of it. They just attack. <laughs> They're not even good at it. Hey, you! But the big question is, who's after them? Who's in on this? Well, did anybody hear anything? <laughs> Didn't anybody see anything? The paranoid trust no one atmosphere ought to build the tension. Oh, that's funny. She never acted like that before. But only if it pays off at some point. And as it turns out, they're not being paranoid at all. It would seem the entire county is in on this. I tell you, buddy, this place gives me the creeps. They have contacts in garages. The police. Go on with your trip. Have a good time. Leave this up to me. The local library. I'm very sorry, ladies, but these are reference books. They can't go out of the library. Country music bars. You don't need witches? Witches? witches. <laughs> they organize fake accidents, diversions. Every other car on the road is driven by yet another Satanist. <laughs> Everyone's in on it. Why not just kill them? Who's going to report you? And to whom? We are self-contained, babe. We end on a public safety message. If you are on the run from Satanists and you decide for perfectly logical reasons to hide off the main road in the middle of nowhere where no one can hear you scream... Yeah, it looks like there's an open spot down here. Then A. Don't tempt fate. Hey, everybody, lighten up. It's all over. And B. Try not to park in the middle of the Ring of Fire. Yeah, it really does seem like they could have done this at any point in the movie. If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.